We converted a school bus in just 12 days from yellow and full of seats to something four of us could travel across the U.S. in. We just want a bomber RV for our summer use, so our conversion is not like the full-timers you typically come across. We don't even live in the U.S. full-time and certainly could not give the project a long time just to build out. So some systems are really basic, like our water system. We have a 30-gallon tank that we purchased on Amazon, the biggest that we could find. The fill inlet is crudely rigged to be able to connect a hose or, with some fiddling, just gravity feed from water jugs. The tank's other upper opening is used for a vent line. On the bottom of the tank, the outlet is plumbed to a 12-volt pump. That pump came with the on-demand propane water heater. We use PEX tubing for the plumbing and push-on fittings to connect to the kitchen sink and the mix valve that's part of our shower setup. This is what sucks about getting water right now. Is they fill up these jugs and then... The current water system, we have onboard storage for 30 gallons. So that's a couple of these six gallon ones. They're a real hassle. It's not easy to gravity fill them. I just got this nozzle going to this washer drain hose. And I gotta do this. So we want to make the system easier because we never have a full tank because we just do two, about two of these each trip. And you see we're about a half tank now. Should last us a couple days. Because we're not taking showers here. So we built our bus. We did it in a big rush and skipped a few steps. We're gonna install a, a small pressure tank. The pump surges when you, it's on demand. So to try to help reduce that wom, 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 wom on the demand. And then because we're remote, we we struggle because we don't go places that have water. The bus just sits here. So we need to bring water to the bus. So we're gonna install a pump to run off the 12 volt system that we can pump out of the back of the truck. So we can fill up a 50 gallon drum with water, bring that up, pump out of the truck and into a tank behind the bus and then pump from it into the bus. We'll do the pressure tank, which should be mounted upside down so that you can pressurize it with a bicycle air pump and came with this fitting so you can put it in line with something like just replace what's there. But I'm gonna, because I have pecs in, I'm just gonna use these shark bite fittings and install it in line. That's stripped. Look like it's on straight. Maybe it is. No, it looks like it's down, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, honey. A horsey. I'm worried about this being stripped. So this is our fill inlet, and we've currently got it set up so we can just pour from a, from a water jug, like a five gallon jug, into here. <clears throat> we put the hose clamp on and put this inside, clamp it shut, and then connect to a, to a, a hose. Um, I've got the water lifted up enough that we're not going to be charging the system much and over here is where I think I'm gonna put the pressure tank. So I'm gonna cut out a six inch section of water line. Just keeps pressure in the system so it doesn't doesn't need to have a direction. I was hoping to mount it to this which on the plus side gets our water line up a little bit higher. Negative side is there some negative sides? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where I need to go. Or I can move this brace. It's not actually getting much because we're bolted into the side there. Remove that brace and then put it up against the wall. I think it's be a better option.
too long. This stuff is pretty forgiving though. seated. Okay, I'm going to open that off. See how wet I get. Uh, go ahead and turn on the water. Oh wait, a uh, pump's off. Hold on a second. You might not need to do anything at all. Pepper, you hear that? Yeah. Listen to the pump. And the fittings look pretty good. Oh no, this one's not. What happened? Oh, I, I might just wrench it on tighter and see. So next is to plumb in this pump, which came with the uh, this filter, and it's a directional, of course. The water goes through this way, so I'm gonna put this filter on the side, and it's got these neat um, gaskets. I don't, I hope that they're solid enough for a bus to rattle around, but we're not gonna be, it's not gonna be under pressure ever when the bus is driving, so not a big deal. So I need this to then go to the hose. Looks like that's what I'll get. This in there so it doesn't take up too much space. This way is going to be too long, I think. Could maybe do that. There's a this. And uh, the tires for Raven's trailer. I'll go help with those stuff. Okay. Ooh. Take it easy there. Alright. Well, with the plumbing out of the way, you gotta do the other half, which is wiring it up and I want to have a switch to be able to turn it on and off at the pump um, and then just wire it into our to our 12 volt system on the bus. Opening the nozzle, drop it in, hook up one of our hoses. Okay, power switch is right here. It's gonna take a little while. The new way of filling up the water. Do we just put this in there and back on? 
There's well, still water in there, yeah. I'm gonna I need to reconnect this. So I changed from the PEX to some, uh, I think it's reinforced vinyl tubing. This is running out of this tank. Through the pump, back through the RV hose to fill up this tank. problem is I'm doing it while we're trying to cook dinner. So our total spent for our water system has been less than a thousand dollars. I'll put links to some of the items we use in the description below. We do have a source of water on our property, and we use it for watering plants, laundry, and of course, to see what wildlife might come by. You know how this works. If you like this, please subscribe. Click the little thumbs up and consider commenting. The algorithms like it, and I admit, so do we.